Okay, so uh, the challenge that you guys have is you're going to create a responsive image grid or a responsive image gallery might be a better word for it, uh, like the one that you see here. So uh, what we're looking at here is we've got a gallery of approximately seven images. Uh, the images repeat. If you scroll down, you can see that they are repeated here. And uh, they've been connected in uh, columns. So we have first column, our second column, our third column, and our fourth column. Now they're currently at four columns because we're in desktop mode. But as we reduce the size of the screen, you'll see that it um, is using the at media selector in order to, once the screen size hits, uh, a certain limit, um, we'll end up seeing that the page collapses down to one. So here we have one column, and let me stretch out the bottom here so you can see that there's more pictures down here. And as you increase, you get two columns, and then it stays at two columns until you hit a certain point, and then it goes to four columns. So this is what we want. You'll choose your own seven images. You'll repeat those into four columns. Uh, and uh, in sort of a random order and then um, but the, the purpose isn't necessarily to showcase the images it's to build the responsive image grid that's in the background so right now we're looking at uh, Chrome the Chrome browser and one of the things you can do in the Chrome browser for instance is you can click on things right click and choose inspect and it will reveal over here in this panel on the right, it'll reveal the HTML and the cascading style sheets that are used in order to create it. So we can dig around here a little bit in this particular page and look to see what's happening. So if we go up here and we expand the head tags, we can see that there's uh, inside the style tags, there's a number of different selectors that have been used here. And so we want to highlight these and examine these a little bit more closely in order to uh, give you some clues in terms of how you'll create this this similar effect but with the different images so one of the things that's new is that there's an asterisk up here the asterisk selector is actually uh, affects all elements on a web page and so this is sort of like a an everything so we're assigning to everything in this web page the creators were anyway the box dash sizing colon border box is going to go on to all elements. The body is set to zero margin and a font family of Arial. Uh, you guys can change the font size or the font style. Excuse me, the font family if you wish. Uh, this area up here is the header, the two pieces of text, and you'll want to go ahead and implement those as well. Maybe call it a responsive gallery grid, but um, but that is being used here as a class dot header. Um, and so the text is aligned and there's a padding set at 32 pixels in order to get this nice white space going on up here. And the, uh, there's a number of divs. There are div rows and div columns that are being used. And this right here indicates that there's a dot row div and dot column divs. So the dot row, uh, the display is set to flex and flex wrap is set to on. And so, and we could see that as we move um, and we can see that we've got things wrapping here. Um, they're popping on to other columns uh, as necessary. Uh, the padding is set to um, zero on the left and four pixels. Um, and uh, here is where we get some interesting things going on in the, in the CSS. And so this is the real clue here. We've got create four equal columns that sit next to each other. So here the flex columns are set at 25%. So the total is 100%. So 25% would be a fourth of that. And it sets the max width at 25%. So um, the width of each of the columns is distributed evenly across the page. Uh, again with the same padding uh, that's been set throughout. Uh, here, dot column in IMG is a selector. So any of the images that are found within the column class are going to have a uh, top margin of eight pixels, and they're going to be aligned vertically in the middle. Here's where we see one of our two uh, sort of responsive layout triggers. So hopefully you looked at the tutorial about the at media uh, selector, and um, here at max width 800 pixels it is set so that when we hit 800 pixels wide the screen is stretched um, down or scaled down to 800 pixels 
the dot column switches so this then overrides this up here and we see that the flex is set at 50 percent and the max width is at 50 percent in fact what we see right now on the screen over here on the left is indeed two columns so and uh, the columns have been split so that they're even columns the width of this picture and the width of this picture are the same however if i keep scaling down the page here it pops on and up here in the corner you can see pixels uh, rotate but as we hit um, right around so it looks like right around a thousand so it's a little different than this which is actually kind of interesting but as you scale the page down eventually what ends up happening is that when you hit 600 pixels or less the dot column switches to being a hundred percent so that's why we see the pictures spread across the page with a max width of 100 percent if you want to look down here um, at the body uh, it has all of the code kind of necessary um, this is the header code here underneath the header you'll see rows and then with each row uh, you'll see columns and you'll see that the columns are all identical so this first column has wedding picture first and then rocks falls to paris nature mist and paris uh, in here and then in column the next column it starts with the underwater pig uh, jpeg ocean wedding mountain skies rocks underwater and so on so you'll want to find six or seven different pictures and kind of repeat this pattern as you create your own responsive gallery uh, notice that there are four columns loaded but as soon as you scrunch the picture down to um, right around here um, it collapses two of the columns and so you're only looking at the top two columns and as you flip further or scale further um, you end up and, and clearly this is the first wedding JPEG um, followed by the rocks followed by falls two followed by Paris and so forth so um, so anyway see if you can't replicate this uh, using your own images uh, in order to create a responsive image grid or a responsive gallery layout. All right, good luck.